Brave, showing his new YouTube channel. My first video today is going to be how to mod Borderlands 2. Well, the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get a USB. And then you're going to put a USB in your PlayStation 3. You're going to go through your save data settings. And you're going to put the save data from your Borderlands that you want modded as in your character. You're going to put that into your USB. Then you're going to put it back in your computer or laptop or desktop, whatever you have. And then you're going to move it into your desktop, which I have right here. I have two of them, but I'm going to be using this file right now. And then you're going to go to... Where's it at? Right here, I don't have the file. You can be funded on Google or something. The Gibbet Save Editor. And then it's right here. Wait for that to load. And while that's loading, we need Brute Force Save Data. Which is right here. And then you're going to click this three dots right here. We're going to put it on your desktop, which is where your files are going to be. Make sure it refresh first. Let it refresh. So in case your computer made any changes to these files. And you're going to click the file that you want to be modded. You're going to click decrypt PFD. Click yes. And you're going to minimize. And then you're right here. Here's the Gibbet Borderlands 2 save editor. You're going to click open. Click the file that you decrypted and the file you want modded. Open. And here is your information, your character, right here, stats, experience level 999 million, highest level you can believe, I believe, this is the highest level, this is 999 million, this is your stats, sync, make sure to sync it, that's 2 billion, here's your power level, power level is 8, and what's it for your character, your vehicle colors, currency this is the highest amount you can get make sure if you want to change any of this make sure you put the exact same thing that I have right here if you make it any higher either your data will be corrupted or it won't load here's your teleporter your backpack now these are all your guns that you'd be using and you can create new weapons and new items through this right here we got a conference call this is a pretty pretty boss gun and if you make the manufacturer level 80 it makes it so it's power level overpowered 80 which is really strong it's like maybe 200,000 to be exact let me check the exact damage it's going to be 226,382 times 7 because it's power level 8 now because it's 80 and that's for your backpack same thing with your bank here's your stuff we got a shield Raw tab. This you can basically change anything in the game with this. Not a lot of stuff like golden keys. I wasn't able to mod golden keys in here, I don't believe. I, I believe I modded badass rank in here, but I didn't even mean to mod my badass rank, and I don't even remember how I did it. But I have like over 300 million badass rank now. And about the, the the developers, thank God for these developers. Like this save editor is a, a boss. Without this, I don't think I'll be able to mod with a USB in this game. And after you finish modding, whatever you want to mod, you're gonna click save, save to your decrypted file, over overwrite it. And you gotta close that, you're gonna open your brute force, click the file that went refresh first. Because the file is changed. You go to the every time you change your file. Then you're gonna click encrypt. Click yes. Then you're gonna click it again and then you're gonna click update your PFD. 
update full. That's all you're gonna do. You can close that, and you're going to slide that file back into your PlayStation. Now you put it in, load it in, and then go to your USB and copy it back over to your system. And boom, you have a modded game save. You don't need to find your own on YouTube, and you can create your own just like this. Well, that is it for now. Peace.